fans good afternoon you all out there please i i want to see you guys back on live you know i i just said this weekend i was going to come out because uh, i just wanted it to be a cool show you know and uh, for those people who are trying to to drag me you know into dust i just want you guys to know i am i am not that kind of a person i'm not that kind of a dude you know so what i want you guys to understand out there our nigerians those of you who are the diaspora end in the not too distant time from now, we're already, we're already ready. God has made some perfect ones amongst mm -hmm. us who, who have what it takes, you know, to support, to support credibility, to support accountability, to be out here, to give us the needed support we need. So what I want to tell you guys, we can all make sure that government works. It is our fundamental duty as citizens of Nigeria to demand good government from, from, from our leaders. Because God won't come down from heaven to fix our roads. So we have to engage the system holistically. When I mean holistically, I, have, I keep hammering on this. We want to know how much the governor is paying. We want to know reasons why you know, politicians are living a better life and we are the ones suffering. We want to see those reasons. So that is what I want to do. We already have it at stake. The, the monies they spend, the monies, they don't, they don't just steal it without, without, without pen and paper. I've always said this. We don't just steal it without pen and paper. So what I'm going to tell you guys this afternoon is this. First of all, those of our, of our youth who are out there, our parents, our mothers, our fathers, in fact, I, I want to bless all of you for the calls, for the prayers, you know. Those of you who are out there, the advocacy we are beginning to kick off is a non-violent advocacy. People should not drag me into doors. I am only trying to ensure that credibility remains the watchword of government. That is, the, on, the, that is on, the, on the platform whereby we can begin to enjoy an egalitarian society. People should, people should be held accountable for the money they collect salaries for. Civil servants that ought to take care of the environment should be doing that for the salaries they are being paid for. It is not just only a one-man thing. But the man, the man who is at the ends of affairs, who has pledged to ensure that this is being done, we must take the heat because he has assumed the office to serve Edo people. So let me be quick to tell you, and my, most of you are also calling me to talk about the holistic view of Nigeria. I, I, I don't want to bother myself on Nigeria because I've said it very clear. The problem we have with Nigeria is just that there's too much money at the center for them to steal. So they are never willing to do anything with that money at the center. So let us back here demand for the regional government and to the, uh, the likes of Antonio Nero, our, our political king, you know, that, that, that fought for the independence of Nigeria, for the, for the creation of Bender states. You know, the likes of Ibumodia. You can imagine if Ibumodia could have created these facilities you see on the part of Delta and of, and of Edo and of uh, Afemai, Agbo and the Rex Aziz. They were able to develop these, these settlements. What have uh, the democracy we have enjoyed for the past 18 years, what are uh, there about uh, to, 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 to 20 years now? What are, we, what are we getting? What are we getting? You see government, you, 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 you see uh, government agencies. Okay, I want to put NEPA. I want to put PSCN as a, as, a, as a typical topic for you guys. Why is it that they privatized PSCN up to now? They are still even the even the even 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 the part of government that that that, that remits three hundred billion to to, to this uh, uh, discourse to to ensure and and, and jinkus to ensure that there is electricity. What do they really do? If my pool breaks and I still fix my pool, so let's 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 understand something. Mm -hmm. Those of you who are watching, the majority of you are, are out there in Europe, and I know you guys understand what I'm talking about better because you've seen a better society. You've seen a better society. So all what we need to do, instead of you giving your brother twenty thousand, because your brother did not die all, the, all through the years, give him a smartphone, give him an Android phone. I want to tell you another problem we're going to be faced with now very soon. They want to increase the data cost, but despite they cannot stop data, if they like, let them increase it, despite they cannot stop data from operating, we will keep coming online. We will keep coming online, but I'm going to tell the federal government that it is not my philosophy for you guys to increase the data because this is the only way we can disseminate information. This is the only way we can we can have quick information out there for people. So what I need you guys to do: start calling back your people at home. I will still be on this same show because we have to hit them suddenly, suddenly, suddenly until when we get there. I will still tell you the numbers. I will roll out numbers for you to call. People who mean well for Nigeria, people who want to believe in freedom, they are around us. They are woken up now. They want to start what is needful. Martin Luther King did not do it alone. I cannot do it alone. But I have the force to demand and never relent. Because it is in this mouth. What God has given to us to, 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 <laughs> to understand ourselves is in this teeth and the tongue. 
So I will not keep quiet, even if you incarcerate me, even if you arrest me, I will keep preaching freedom because that is what I believe in. So let me tell you, in a couple of weeks, inside this week, we will enter. For those of you who you understand me like that, inside this week, we will enter. We the one begin the office work. No be late to talk for TV. I will, as we write later, say, uh, head of service, we want to know the total strength of the civil service. They are great and they are rank. We have level 70. We have 50 of them. Uh, these ones are cut across. They want to know what are their wages. We start from there because we need to check the recurrent expenditure of government. That is where the, the first SS is in which it is in stealing. You know, that is, that is like the reality they enjoy in the office. The bogus pays and all that. We want to bring it to the full so that you all will understand. Right from the civil service. So that those of us who are in the... majority of the problem we have are those people who are in the civil service. So those public servants, they, are, they constitute over 35.6% of the, of the gross of the leaders. They constitute it. I'm telling you, I'm with a due, with a very, if you go back to my video, you see when I went to a secretariat in the morning. Some of the secretaries are still shut down. So tell me now, how do you even generate revenue to work in that local government? How do you even generate revenue for you to work in that local government? Then, thus far, some part of our government, they say they've invested in industries, they've invested in projects. We're going to see those industries. We're going to ask, why are these industries not working? What are the issues? Because if you can tell me if you can if you can spend 15 billion uh, over 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 25 billion in the hospital that cannot work up till date after the president must have called, you know left his office blocked our road made movement stressful commissioned that hospital and up till now is not working is it not another form of madness if I if I continue to remain quiet is it not from another, another form of madness if if I if I if I if I if I insist on keeping quiet so my Nigerian people let us be out let us wake up. It is time, it is time. Edo people, it is time, it is time. It is, it is the millennium era. The only benefit we have now is that during the time of Babangida, Ali must go riot and the rest and those other struggles. There were no social media like this. You were, we were in Europe, you, it was only later you could see. But now I could go anywhere and I could show you what, what, is, what, is, what, is, what is visible. So you can begin to agitate, you can begin to... Let me tell you one thing, even if they arrest me, you can free me one day, even if the governor of Edo said arrest me. Those of, those of you who find yourself in Europe, all you need to do is to protest to the consulate of that country. Not our, not our Nigerian consulate, too. Maybe their human rights department, they beg them that an activist who is fighting for the people back home has been arrested because I will not relent. We already have the mechanism, we already have the structure. We already have that in place. So all I need people to do is to continue, you know, advocating, calling your people back home. From next week, you must begin to call them back home. Let us begin to monitor. Let us begin to monitor government. Governor, I, yeah, governor, this money will you collect. This four billion where you spend for where you take this one. Wait, 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 ah, why it be like this now? Because we are all stakeholders. We are all stakeholders in government. If the government is failing, we the citizens we contribute the larger chunk of the problem. The larger, look at now today. Anybody coming from from the eastern access into a do, it, it, the road is blocked. It's jammed. I cannot even waste my time going there because I cannot. Going there is another stress. Going there, it's it's. People are just from Rama Park now, just look down the road. You see people who intend to travel on the normal Benicia to Abo, uh, Onicha. They, 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 they can't move because the buses on the road, they can't exit that Okwai spot, the bad spot at Okwai, the bad spot at Ogoneki. It's that Ogoneki junction is causing a, you know, a hell of junk, a hell of junk on the road as I speak to you, a hell of junk. People are just on the road. You got, you got to start driving into the interior villages, damaging the, the roads in our wood that they don't even have. Damaging the roads in our wood that they don't even have. So this is why some of us cannot continue to keep quiet. This is why some of us cannot continue to keep quiet because we don't we don't like this menace. It is called a menace. We don't like it. So please, I just want you guys. I'm not going to relent. And let me tell you guys one thing. I don't believe in throwing insults at people. I don't really. I don't believe in you know abusing people. I believe in correcting you. You know with 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 with, with the right channels. What are those right channels? Those right channels are when you choose to engage the person on the, on the platform of the law. The law has prescribed that there must be a pressure group, there must be a civil society advocacy. So they cannot stop our voice. They cannot stop it. That is just one thing. They cannot stop our voice. That is just one thing. So those of you who have seen all these guys, like, like what Abad did to remove a portion of my video, a video that lasted for 15 minutes, he removed a portion of it. Trying to create an impression that I that I want to insult our reality. My my monobane do ko apolo apolo, about Giliga the second, the digital bad that I want to insult my own my own king. I laugh.
My people out there, sorry, I, I got a call. I laugh because that is not my philosophy. I cannot insult your monobane do. I am his son. I am a bini man. I do not have to think. I only have the monoba. But I'm only trying to let the conscientize the reality that that it is high time they wake up. They are our God on earth. It is high time they wake up. So people call me and say you the fear. Say I think if you say you say you strong, man. The monoba do is my God on earth. As a bini man. Don't forget, Edo is not only made up of Benue. We are, we are, we are. Yes, we are the larger part of, of, of the state. But come on, we have, we have, we have the 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 the, the attire of Aouchi. We we have the, we have the realities there also in Aouchi. We we have that in in, in Isha. You know, we have that in Urumi. So let us let us begin to let us begin to understand that if those of my Asian brothers to begin to call your people back home. Those on one people begin to call your people. Those of us on the car divide begin to call your people. Those of us also on this part of Bini, we owe the bulk of the challenge because if we get it right, the other parts who are there not to get it right. Once they, they will copy from us because God has given us the thinking. Salobo has blessed us so much. So that it is. Let us let us understand that. Then lastly, before I move, as I was trying to tell you guys, you guys should help me. Send Abat Obaze, ask him, Abat, this guy has asked, how much does the governor spend a day? Don't you think it is your duty as someone that, that defends the governor to tell us? I have also asked, the privatization they want to embark on, what are the, what are the, what are the remedies? You cannot explain, you cannot pinpoint. There's no, there's, there's, there's no blueprint. The 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 the, the uh, what, what do you call it uh, the the the, the so-called uh, modernized uh, 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 cement casting you do on on, on our roads because that's where we're starting from. Those cement casting, what are, what 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 what's up with them? Okay, the central hospital. Why is it taking this time? Why is it that the governor cannot say in two months' time that hospital will, will start running? They boosted the Shimoli said in a couple of months. Now the governor is saying they need to look for someone that is, that's going to manage the hospital and all that. Are they calling our local doctors quack? Are they saying without with, with, with without engaging the, the you know <laughs> the normal civil service we cannot get proper health care? That is that means that means they are not trying to give you excuses that we ought to pay the price for their for their for their for their for their dollar silent policies. So these are just these are just the issues we need to correct, and the only way we can correct them is through continuous advocacy through continuous advocacy the police is on one side though the issue of the police is on one side because haven't haven't gotten an holistic view of the issue of the police the police first of all they are underfunded so once you give people arms the next thing that you don't fund them very well the next thing they do is to begin to exploit the people you are telling them to secure that is the only option because you if you, you cannot pay a policeman very well and at the end of the day you come she says your five thousand naira or ten thousand naira that he wants to collect for b when he showed that when he goes to the office, he has the basic working amenities. Go around a do state today. Go around a do state. I want you to show me a very sound vehicle that the police is using, apart from the ones that is left for the you know for the big shots, the DPOs, and the rest. How do they even maintain their vehicles? The security vote that they, that we've been spending over the years have not been able to tell us how police they have their routine maintenance. You see a police vehicle on the road; they are pushing it in this 21st century, in this modern day century, and people are telling us to keep quiet. People are telling us to, to keep quiet. People are saying that Nigeria should keep quiet. So I, I wonder why. It is no more news again. It is no longer news that those people that say president should resume in office. I'm just trying to tell you the, the kind of society where we are. We all know these things, but I need to highlight them so that it, it, it's, 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 it's sinking into our brain that in the whole of Africa, in the whole of Africa, we do not have a perfect economy that can test the time and say, yes, this, we, are the, we are the true giants. Because if you ask me, I don't know Nigeria as the giant of Africa. Giant in what size? That, they, that our people that went for, 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 for international games, they send them back because there's no funds. But there's funds, there's money to pay for the parking lot of the presidential jet in, in London. The airport charges over uh, thousands of dollars on daily basis. There's money to pay for that. But people that people that have a career to, to, to represent the country, young men, young men. So when do, when do they go? When, when do they want to go for that games and make it in life? It's when they are 60. God forbid. It's not. It's not in this my generation. God will for God. God will forever punish those people that, that are doing this. They will forever punish them. In whatever places they are, they will, God will forever punish them because they are evil people. 
They are evil people. They don't mean well for us. They don't mean well. They don't mean well for us. So, let's make it one shot next week. This weekend, I'm just all on trying to ensure that we get our office running. So, please, by next week, let all our leaders who are out there, let all our leaders who are out there, God bless you. Let all our leaders who are out there, let them ensure that <laughs> if they think it is a normal game they see, they should be prepared though, because if they will not answer us, then that is when they will start seeing what they call massive protests. That is when they will start seeing what they call, because we are not going to, we are not going to, we are not going to hurt anybody, but we are going to occupy the streets. We are going to occupy the street and ensure, if you like deploy police, then we will tell you that the masses are involved in this struggle. It is not just me, the masses will be involved, because our people cannot come in, we cannot talk to our people, we now have a mechanism. This social media. They, they cannot stop you because if they stop you, you don't know that they want to. They want to kill us finally. Then those of you who are abroad, you don't have any other children to come back. But we must take it by force. We must take it by force. We must take it. We must demand force through the same pen and paper they use in stealing it with force from us. We must use that same force to collect it back from them. So my dope people, I greet you. All. I salute you. I salute you plenty. I greet you, all. Uh, Jacob uh, Akaibe. I greet you. Epa I runs. I be here. I greet you, Epa. Epa, you're just coming on now, fit. Obomo, I greet you. I salute you all. You guys are lovely. Mary Ewa, I salute you. Osai Gede Henry, I salute you. Dinero, I salute you. John ID, I salute you. I always share my videos, you know. But it's all more, all more than sharing. We should also ensure that these videos get out. Which is probably from next week. Because from next week, I'm not even going to be talking on the problems on next week. I'm going to be focusing on the solutions. The remedy we as organized civil society, the remedy we ought to adopt. These channels that is that is on the provisions of the so-called constitution they are using to rule us now. The banana constitution. Because I, I, I'm, a, I'm a learned man and I believe that there must be... You see, there's no vacuum in government. Even if you want to correct the government, there's no vacuum. There cannot be a vacuum. The government, the democracy itself has, has a tenant in which the government can always change hands, it can always operate. So it is just the consciousness we need, the consciousness of the mind, because a whole lot of us has to keep keep doing that. There are remedies we are going to adopt, very clear, strict remedies, very clear and strict. So please, my dear people, it's a nice one with you guys. I want us to pray, to, you know, you know, to keep praying, to keep praying, because it's not just praying to God, but to keep praying in the sense that we should keep Prayer means the, 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 the request you, 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 you demand. We should keep praying. When I mean praying, we should keep, we should keep asking. It's a, it's a, even if from God or from human beings, from politicians, so we should keep asking. Because these guys are, they are not, uh, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are not, they are not, uh, they are not helping issues. They are not even willing to change. They are not repentant of their, of their wrong deeds. Go, and look, go into your locality, go into your suburb. Look at the way and manner the politicians, those of them who are exes, those of them who, who are still politicians, look at the kind of houses they live in. Ten years ago, nine years ago, we could not build those kind of houses. How come they have they are been able to amass such a wealth and the, the immediate community is, is having no benefit? Once, the person, once somebody becomes a governor, the, 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 the immediate community where he comes from, he tires all the road, knowing that they ought to be road in his own place. But the other places just comes do ten kilometer, do five kilometer, do two kilometer. They will not use nearly, the, nearly, 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 nearly a portion of, of what they spent in doing the road to commission the road as a as a ceremony. So please, Nigerians, we ought to wake up. We ought to wake up. We ought to wake up. So those of you who are out there, I just want to let you know I'm seeing you guys. Eh? I'm seeing you guys. I saw one guy I just wrote now say Mumu Abat. We don't necessarily need to insult him. Just let us engage him on this question so that he will come out and speak. I want. I just want you to understand the kind of ideology of people. I was trying to compare what we are suffering. A young man like us, a young man like us that knows that he's he's only living in pretense. He's only living a fake life. A young man like us came out to tell me that I'm insulting the reality, knowing fully well that I did not do that. Knowing fully well that, that I, I did not, I did not embark on such a thing. I was only calling on the reality to ensure that uh, that uh, uh, they begin to look into the plight of our people. It is only a stupid child that will see people dying on the Libya and will say, "Who we'll send them go there?" Why is it that people in America? Why is it that they are not coming here to come and enjoy the freedom that we have in this part of the world? As they say, as, as they say, Nigeria is the, is the best place to live. 
where are people from 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 uh, from, from from Europe? Why are they not smuggling through the Libya Sea to this other part of Africa? Is it not because there is no life here? Is it not because there is no life here? Why are they not struggling from this part? Since they say that they are, they are doing their best, why are they not struggling from this part to come and enjoy the best? Why are we all the one going this other way? So please, I want to tell you guys, it's high time we uh, we, we we begin to speak truth to power. Um. Please and please and please and please and please let us let us understand one thing. The better, and I mean the better, we take this as a collective journey, the better for all of us. It is the high time we take this struggle as a collective journey, this struggle of freedom. It is high time we take it as a collective journey, the better for all of us. I am saying I'm talking to those youths out there who, who 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 will call me on phone to tell me that I'm insulting the reality and will not listen to the fact that I said that we need to start demanding how much a governor spends a day. Those of you who are calling me to shout at me, those of my comrades who are calling me, I just I just wish that we are all conscious. I just I just I just believe that maybe some people are just consciously wicked, while some are consciously foolish. If I go by the course of Charlie Boy, Charlie Boy said they are ignora ignorantly, eh, 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 stupid. I be sorry, sorry. He used the word arrogantly ignorant. When somebody is arrogant and is ignorant over it, it becomes stupidity. It's another form of madness. When you keep doing the same thing over and over again, and 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 you want to expect a different form of answer. So we must all take part. We must know how much is meant to be spent in a local government every month. Where is that money going to? What is it being used for? Not you have a holistic budget that there's a stockpile of projects that that even the even even the recurrent and the and the, and the cap even 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 the recurrent we still having uh, having a deficit at the end of the, at the end of the budget that recurs for that same recurrent to be to be to be to be, to be, to be legislated again and, and made a law for government to spend appropriate and spend. So these are these are areas where we need to look into. These are areas where we need to look into. I'm very happy with our people are not being cautious. We have social media. That is my that is my lo loveliest joy. That is my loveliest joy. If they if they I know those active those companies that know me very well, they know what I can do. Our companies that are, that we have been in the struggle together, they know they know I'm a very blunt person to that bus stop. To that bus stop. So please let us all wake up and, and do the needful. It's high time. It's high time we take we, we take our development back home, our business. It's high time we do that because uh, because it's not helping issues at all. It's not helping issues. So I'll be out leaving here very soon. Let me just uh, say a few words here. We at the state governor should be ashamed of himself by commissioning mosquito nets. I, I see. I'm very happy now. I'm very happy that you guys are saying all these things. Mosquito net. Mosquito net. That there's no database. Let me hold on, hold on a, a little bit. Hold on. See, look at this. This is this is the ticket they are using in giving out the, the net. You can see it. It is written free net card. My brother, is this a card? Is this what is called a card? This is only a docket. This is like a raffle ticket, a docket that gives you a serial number here. Now they say when you take this to the center where they are giving the net, they will give you so imagine if somebody has a hundred of these, what will become of those nets? And what is the mechanism put in place to understand that in this particular area, in a particular area, now government cannot tell you how many people live there. In a particular house, in this 21st century, government cannot even tell you how many people live in the house. And they say we have urban planners. They say we have town planners. They say we have environmentalists that we pay, we pay, we pay heavily through our recorded expenditure. These are, these are the menace we are talking about. As of today, people's environment, they are just meant to breed mosquitoes. 
to pollute the air and some environment. So even if you are going to give them this net, what is the advocacy that follows? What is what are those advocacy? What are, what are those you know policies of government that is enough to say that we have two point something million nets to be distributed to the people around? How are you ensuring that those nets get to the suburb? How are you ensuring that? How are you ensuring that one man does not collect more than one net? So my people, these are these are the questions. So if we, if we don't start it now, it's it's gonna be it's gonna, it's gonna be something else. So please, 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 please. I'm seeing somebody saying that uh, Cliff uh, Agama is saying that uh, a dual state governor is a disgrace. Our governor is not our governor is not helping matters. Our governor is not just our governor is not just helping matters at all. Our governor is not just helping matters at all, and I'm not happy over it. As of today, even the blueprint. The, 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 the 200,000 job he says he wants to do, to do. The, as of today, the, those persons that they, that they captured, you know, the, you give, you let the people know the statistics. At least when you are doing, you are asking BSC, where have you worked, this and that, and that, and all that, and all that. What plan, what plan, what plan, how do you choose to engage them? You are just in agriculture. How many thousands of these people are going to go into the agriculture? How many thousands of these people are going to be locked down in the brewery? How many times of people are going to lock down in the in the in the in the in the, in, in, in the agricultural plants you want to you want to institute? Those ones that are moribund that Oshomole refused to look into. What is happening to them that was built by the previous government that is fully ready for 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 for, for, for production activities? Why are they not running? Why are they not running? And what needs to be done for them to start running? Why why are we not channeling the monies that the bogus salaries are taking to run those factories so that people can be engaged and we can have commodities we can export even if it's mere food to for, for our own local consumption that we don't even have. So please, these are these are these are these are what we stand for, and clearly you are going to see that from next week. Clearly you are going to see that from next week. Let's all enjoy our weekend. It's a place time. God doing a I bet you are watching. Before that gamma, I told you you are watching. I can see you. I can see you. Obama, Obama J. Eten is watching. Ojo Michael is watching. I can see you. Ima, what is your plan? I keep it bright, Eche. Yeah, there's so much plan. You know, it's civil society advocacy. We're going to be hitting the streets. The, this government, the, the, if I, sometimes, you, you, don't worry, I shouldn't say everything in one day. You know, I shouldn't say everything in one day. But don't worry, mm -hmm. just get involved with the videos from next week. You're going to see how, how it is. And I, and I want to thank those people that, uh, that have made my today's video a smooth ride because. I see today that uh, that these videos were, were 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 very clear today. They were very clean today, and uh, God bless you. God bless you, Julie Okoro, Ogatio. God bless you. I see you all. I see you all. Esosa Siga Omo. I get there. I see you all. I see you. I see you. All. I just want to let you know I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let down this struggle. I'm not going to let down this struggle at all. This is you also. I see you. I see you. I see you all. You guys are great, lovely people. And then before I leave, lastly, let us all know that we must ensure to be our brother's keeper. You ensure to be your brother's keeper. Learn to fight for a, you know, a Nigerian. Learn to tell a Nigerian to be of good conduct when you, those of you who are out there that always call me. Because we don't want to keep hearing this bad, this bad news. Most of those of us who are those. So long live the federal. Do I need to say long live? We await the coming of Bender State. We share the philosophy of Brafia. God bless us all. I want to leave. I'm seeing all your. I'm seeing all your all your likes. I need to. I need to appreciate some of you. Feta Bomo, I see you. I see you. Lucy also, I see you. Clifford, I see you. I got you. I'm seeing you guys. I'm seeing you all. I see all your likeness. As I'm about to leave, I'm telling you a very big thank you, Mary. Hey, why I see you. Now, let me say some, something just came into my mind. A guy called me at about 1 p.m. yesterday and told me that, why is it that I'm becoming popular? And I asked him because I'm preaching the truth. So if you want to become popular, start preaching the truth. Start standing for the truth. That is the message I leave you guys with today for my video. We are going to make it. No turning back. PFM is the way. God bless you all.